Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to load a custom ROM on the HCC Wildfire. If you're not there, head over to TheUnlocker.com, spell like that in the address bar, and search for how to load a custom ROM on the HCC Wildfire procedure. Okay, before you begin, you must have done our how to root uh, unrevoked method for your phone. So if you haven't, click on the link right there, it'll take you to that procedure. Once you finish that and you have a custom recovery image, then you can come back to this procedure and we can continue. If you're not a load of custom ROM, you first need to choose a ROM that you want to load. So you can click on the ROM section here. It'll open a new window to our ROMs page for your phone. Scroll down and select whatever ROM it is you want to use. It should open the developer's page for that ROM. If you scroll down again, you should be able to find the download link and save it to your computer. Okay, once you've downloaded the ROM that you want, we're going to plug the phone in via USB. I'm going to select disk drive so that we can save stuff to the SD card. Okay, once we've got the ROM that we want, we're going to take the ROM.zip file, do not extract it, and we're going to put it onto the SD card. Not inside any of the folders, just on the SD card itself like that. So that it shows up with the path in removable disk. And that's it, wait for that to transfer. Okay, once we transfer those files over to the SD card, we're going to turn off the phone. Then we're going to turn the phone back on by holding down volume down and power. So we get to HBoot mode. It's going to look for the file and it's not going to find. We're going to push down on the volume button to, and uh, power to select recovery. And then once the phone boots into recovery, we're going to scroll down to wipe, then wipe data factory reset. Then wipe Dalvik cache. Then we're going to go to flash zip from SD card. Select Cyanogen's ROM. Press power to confirm. And wait for it to finish flashing. Once it's installed that, you can now hit reboot system now and wait for the phone to reboot. Okay, once the phone boots up, you're on your custom ROM. You can go through your normal setup process. Um, it's always recommended to skip through the, uh, the setup process initially and then set up your Google account and everything later. Um, but that's it. Once you've done that, you're on your custom ROM and you're good to go. Enjoy.